Oh dear, sorry about that previous clip. Makes me laugh. That's our good friend that we're heading up to Exmouth to catch up with. Uh, yeah, so we're leaving 14 Mile and we're heading to Exmouth for a bit of fun and shenanigans. Just before you reach Exmouth, you'll come across a memorial. And without going into a history lesson, um, in 1942, the United States Navy established a submarine base under the code name Operation Potshot, which attacks shipping in Singapore Harbour from Exmouth. The memorial showcases some awesome vintage photos and extensive information for those interested in our history. The base didn't last very long due to the Japanese bombing the location and a cyclone in 1945. Worth a look. So we just did the turn off to Cape Range National Park. And this is it. <laughs> We're going up to the gorges. Ah, yes. To the road. Yeah, fantastic, the waves up there. Oh, I can't wait to see. I've seen images of this. Get to be there in person. Got our beautiful Mildred behind us, pulling her up these hills. So we're up at Rough Range and this is a memorial for 50 years of the discovery of um, oil in Western Australia. It's at a pretty cool spot. You can see the ocean and then the start of some interesting landscape here. early so it's a little bit hard to capture whoa don't want to get too close So we're now at Thomas Carter Lookout. Oh, I can't imagine what else there is. I've actually swapped my thongs for some sneakers because I don't know, with these big drop-offs, I just feel like I'm gonna fall over. Um, anyway, hopefully not. Outside at Exmouth Ningaloo Resort Caravan Park and we're right near the amenities and the laundry so we've washed all our sheets and clothing and now we're just going to um, have a little drink at the restaurant here and then our beautiful best friends Pete and Moore are picking us up and we're going to the brewery for dinner to uh, Whalebone. Okay so here we are at Whalebone Brewery and that's what I've selected. Yep, I've got one drink. <laughs> so's Peter, so's so's Bob. Bob. This, is, this is Stevie G. This is Peter. <laughs> Peter. Peter. Okay. And more and they're our best friends in the world and they're flowing up here to Exmouth and we are in for some fun. Cheers. 
So I'll just say good night now for the paddle. Check how good this place is. Dress up, Pete. Yeah, my. How's that, Steve? Love this. Have you seen this man? It's his birthday. Make sure you give him an extra large hug and make him feel really, really old. How cool is that? Just had an awesome breakfast. Um, oh, it's called Something Society here in Exmouth. So we're off on a little adventure with our friends that are just travelling in front of us to explore um, the Cape Range National Park and this peninsula. Can't wait to see what it has. Jesus burger. And look at this place. The kids are doing some research on their phones. <laughs> this is magic and it isn't licensed, but they let us open a beer. This is um, Pete and Moore's accommodation. Not bad. This is at Manta Ray um, Resort. And it's got a towel left in the door to let me in. Lovely. Wow. Yes. It's pretty nice. Oh, I'm going to have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Not too shabby at all. Oh, Actually, I've seen images of this in past years of you. Yeah, definitely. Here. Wow. Look at that. Happy hour time. Yeah, it is. 
at the resort. Look at that. What did they call that? The turquoise oh. margarita. <coughs> yes, after turquoise bay margarita. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, at the Cadillac. And um, it's a country Nashville themed pub. Look at the size of that chicken Caesar. And what have you got, Pete? I've got what they call a hot rock, Dale. A hot rock? Wow. Steve Moore, I've got some fish tacos, they look delicious. And yeah. I've got a skewer in mine. Oh, careful of skewers. You know what happens there. I've got one in my chin today. Um, anyway, bon appetit! <laughs> So first up, we were given instructions of what we need to do with the approaching whale shark. We had to form a line of 10 people only. Once the whale shark had swum past, you are allowed to actually follow it. You can also swim around the tail carefully and get to the other side. Are you all excited? Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> orientation of the whale shark's tail. This is why it's a shark because its tail is actually vertical going side to side where it's a dolphin and a whale their tail is horizontal and propels them in an up and down motion.
We were so fortunate on the day to have multiple swims with the whale sharks. We'd hop back up into the boat, we'd have to sit in rows of four, and only ten at a time when we were given the all clear that the spotter plane had found where the whale shark was, we'd hop in, line up in a straight line, and then watch this magical creature just glide by. Just beautiful. for another run. It was incredible. I do recommend if you're going to Ningaloo Reef for the whale sharks, May is a fabulous month because there are so many in the area at that time. makes me quite emotional watching this experience back. It was pure magic. Would you believe that each whale shark has different markings? None of the spots are the same. Conditions on the day were perfect. The rays of light that came in from the sun were just unbelievable. Well, that was pure joy. I can't believe we got to experience the whale sharks in the Indian Ocean. What a magical experience that was. Not only did we get to swim with the whale sharks, we also saw dugons, dolphins, reef sharks and stingrays. Ningaloo Reef is absolutely amazing. Best of all, we got to experience it with our best friends who had flown into Exmouth. Great day, great people, great company to go with. So come along with us in episode 12 as we head off to explore Karajini National Park. If you're enjoying our videos, drop us a line below and even subscribe. That'd be great. Thanks for watching.